title of this particular Facebook presentation is Are the Republicans Snookering Hillary? When I use the word snooker, uh, it brings back memories when I played pool many years ago. I love playing snooker. And the, uh, the objective of the snooker game was to hide the balls from the other guy beating a particular ball. He called snookering. Uh, if that's not clear enough, Queen Elizabeth snookered the French Navy into a position of defeating them. Uh, what had happened, England found out that France was going to invade England, and Queen Elizabeth heard about it, and she ordered the French, the English fleet, to stay way offshore, away from the channel, English Channel, and snooker the French fleet to come into the channel. When the French fleet came into the channel, in effect, they were trapped. And the uh, English fleet came out from the sides and literally destroyed the, uh, the French Navy who was trying to invade uh, England. So I guess there are many definitions of snooker, but uh, I just gave you two which uh, will help explain when I say in this article, the Republicans are snookering Hillary Clinton. At the present moment, Hillary is the overwhelming favorite to become the next president of the United States. In fact, she only has one challenger uh, who's got a very slight chance of uh, outdueling Hillary in a debate. So all the pundits have Hillary picked as the Democrat nomination to run for president, and the same pundits have Hillary lined up to become president. When I first heard the Republicans I had about 20 individuals who were going to campaign um, actually against each other to get the nomination of their party to run for president, I was kind of confused as to why were these 20 people, most of whom have, don't have a chance at all of getting the nomination, <clears throat> for many reasons. I just don't have the, the opportunity. And then it dawned on me, whoever masterminds the Republican Party is going to snooker Hillary. In effect, lull her to sleep. She's the front runner. She's like the French fleet coming down the English Channel, waiting to be snooking by the uh, English fleet. So here's Hillary, the front runner. She's out there. She's not campaigning. She's staying very, very quiet. Um, although there are enough arrows to be thrown at her, she's staying very, very quiet. Because in her mind, and in her supporters' mind, she would get the nomination. You may ask who is going to support Hillary blindly. Very simple. 95% of blacks will support her. 85% of Hispanics will support her. 85% of women will support her. All gays will support her. And other fringe groups will support her. So that kind of support, in her own mind, she only has to worry about independence. And that's where the snooker comes into play. The Republicans are saying, okay, what we'll do, we'll campaign early amongst ourselves for the nomination. But while doing that, we'll zero in on Hillary and Obama. And it's the old story, if you cry wolf long enough, the wolf's going to appear. 
So the Republicans are out there bashing each other, but meanwhile, they're getting all the press, all the uh, TV time as to what they're saying to each other. In other words, the American liberal, not American, the independent voters will be awash in uh, comments by Republican candidates both attacking Hillary and attacking each other. And by the time the, the main primary comes along, Hillary will be have been bashed so much that in her debating, she won't have much room for arguing against her comment, comments against her. Because the truth be known, when she was governor of New York, senator of New York, what did she accomplish in the Senate? Nothing. When she was Secretary of State, what did she accomplish? Nothing. So Hillary, the only thing Hillary has going for her is her husband, Bill Clinton. Everybody loves Bill, including me. I sometimes wish he was still president, but he's not. But as long as she has him campaigning for her, she may be able to sway independent voters if, if Bill cannot sway independent voters, then the Republican strategy of snooping her into thinking she's the true winner will fail for her because by the time the nomination comes along or the debate between Hillary and the Republican nomination, there'll be enough criticism against Hillary that she'll be a, a worse in defending herself. She really can't talk about accomplishments. So all Republicans have to do is keep on saying, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? And of course, the, the worst thing she could have done is after that attack in um, Benghazi, when she said, what difference does it make if four Americans were killed by, by guys walking out in the street one night? That's a kiss of death for her. So it will be a very close presidential race. Hillary will get the nomination for the Democrats. And I really don't know who will get it for the Republicans. Um, I just hope to God it's not Jeb Bush. Uh, I'm sick and tired of Bushes. The problem with the Bush people is that the targets were the liberal press, liberal commentators. So if Jeb gets the uh, nomination and God forbid becomes president, We'll be stuck in the same malaise of attack, attack, attack. So I, I welcome your comments. Now please, put your thinking cap on. And I, I expect you to respond to what I'm saying. Just don't close your eyes and, and nod your head. Uh, see if you agree with my point that the Republicans are snookering Hillary into thinking she is a shoo-in, just like the French Navy thought they were a shoo-in to conquer England, when in effect, Queen Elizabeth snooked them into the channel. Thank you very much.